I didn't take it from you. Dang. Bitch, you the one who be like, hey, you know, I just be like, yeah, and yeah, bitch, get in the camera, ho. I'm in the um, camera. Clearly. Anyway, so I just feel like when we was like 18 and stuff like that, you be like, when I get older, I'm gonna be married. I'm gonna have kids, because you know, not all women, clearly, because you're weird. Anyway, um, not all women, but majority, they already have like a life plan. Even if you thought that involved a man or a kid or whatever, you have some place that you hope to be by 25. You're like, by 25, I should be in my career. I should be moving. Or by 25, I should be married. Or by 25, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just yeah. have that by 25. Like, no matter what that is for you. For me, it was more so like 25. I should be well, I should be successful by now. I should be where I want to be in my relationship by now. I should be where mm. I want to be. Yeah. Period. Mm -hmm. That was just my own prerogative. At 25, she had to face that. Oh, I just feel like when you hit that age, I feel like it's almost like how they say before you die, you get flashbacks of your life. And I feel like when 25 approaches, you get flashbacks of the last five years of your really your adulthood, really. Because they say you become an adult at 18. But technically, you don't come a, become an adult until about 20. Because at 20 is when you like your parents is kind of like you kind of grown, grown. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't want to really help you. But if they do, it's really just because you really need it. They're not helping you for you to survive. You know what I'm saying? They just like. Well, they are some. helping you to survive. Some, you know, we're not gonna say all because some uh, don't well, believe that. Right. So I'm just saying, like, like we're they, gonna throw you out there so you can survive. Right. Because so. we done helped you out so much, and for those kids, they need that. They need that push to be like, you know what? It is time for me to get out of my own. Mom can't help me so much. I just feel like at that point, it's kind of when they pull back. It's not necessarily like overpowering. Well, I would say that. 18, I would say that they kind of let go that's what i'm saying they pull yeah. back they just can't they just harbor they can't harbor because on you now anymore. you're 20 you you get in the club it's either what you're like, gonna do with life at this yeah. point they can't be like i'm your mom and you gotta listen to me or bye bye my rules or you can't you're gonna be like fuck that then i can just look at a job and do whatever the fuck i want to do at 20 that's the point where they really can't dictate your life at that point, they really can't say I can take this or I can take that because you'd have been in college for two years. You'd have been an adult for two years, whether or not you went to college or what. You didn't have to see what real life is about in the past two years between 18 and 20. So at that point, it's kind of just like, mm, did I do the worst or did I do the best? Am I still on track or am I not? You know what I'm saying? That's like wake up call years where it's like. Mm, I'm 20. Do I continue going to school or do I kind of explore myself? Do I do this? That's why they say your junior year is well, usually when you're 20. Because that shows you when you're deciding what you really want to do in life. Do you want to follow this? Do you want to follow that rule? Do you kind of just like, do you want to go boss to the walls free? Like, you just got that freedom at that point because they have re released their control. Like, they're not calling you as much as they were when you're freshman and sophomore year in college. Like, you got this now, girl. You're 20. You done done this three years. You know what I'm saying? Like, you in there. You done got your two years out. They don't miss you so much, girl. You done already been gone for two years. Like, how can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just feel like, you know, 20, you just be like, I'm grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like when you hit 25, you just be like, okay, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. I didn't do this, this, that, 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 that. Then you get to look at other people and be like, ooh, okay, here they are. They done did that two, four times. And I'm still on that, 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 and that. And they got this all figured out, man. I'm just like, ooh, was it a class I missed in high school where they was talking about how to have this shit all together? And I just skipped that because I had a problem skipping y'all. So I must have just skipped that course that day because, Bookie, I don't know what happened. Like, you just be like, I'm 25 and here I am. I've accomplished so much life, but I haven't accomplished so much life. Like, you at that point where you're like, I've experienced so much shit. Is this all I'm meant to experience? That's all, sh that's all we heard this morning was, is this all I'm supposed to do? Well, duh, of course not. If you reach that point within your age where you're like, is this it? This can't be it. I just want to go to sleep every day if this is it. You have to fix it. Because you should never wake up every day like, is this it? 
dreading to get up, dreading to go to work, dreading life. I don't see people go through that. You know, and of course, I had those days where I'm just like, I don't want to do shit. And I'm working on my cussing, y'all, in the videos. I'm, I'm going to try to work on it. I cuss a lot. But I'm, I'm going to work on it. But you wake up and be like, I don't do nothing. I don't, I don't feel motivated. I don't want to work out. And, you know, working out actually helps you. You know, so I would encourage it. it even if it's going two days a week, it's something. It's getting you up. It's getting you moving. And it, and it helps boost your energy. And it makes you think. Like, okay, I got to go. I got to do something. And basically, my my um, cousin that I was talking to, you know, she just was like, ah, I ain't feeling it. There's got to be more to life. And it is. It's definitely more to life. And I had to let her know, like, if you want more, you got to you gotta get up. You got to do it. You, you going through the same old routine. Get up. Go to work. Take care of my baby. And it's hard when you do have a baby. But that should motivate you to get you, get your ass up and be like, what I got to do? She didn't come today. She got a baby. I get it. But you got to be hungry. We invite her to come, participate. Bitch, y'all know you're going to see it, the video. I don't know. You got to get your ass up and you got to do what you got to do. You want motivation, you got to get up and do it. And she invited her to the gym. She ain't make it. She want to lay in bed. I get it. But you, if you want more, you got to do more. Can't nobody do it for you. We can tell. We can talk to you and motivate you all day. But that get tiring. It get tiring. And it drained me a little bit. So I kind of was looking at my stuff. And I'm like, who? Like, oh, no. So it kind of like, and then, you know, I talked to my dad. And, you know, so I kind of was feeling like, okay, a little today. But, you know. I'm still staying motivated. I'm still just going to the course of the plan and I'm still trying to do what I said I was going to do. I started the Kickstarter today. We'll see how I do. I hope it go viral. I hope people donate. I hope people pledge and do what they have to do to support it. It is a black owned business. I just hope, I hope it do good. But you know, my Facebook friends, I got, I don't know. I don't know Facebook friends. She got people she don't know on there. I got people I don't know, but I got people, I got hella people I do know. And they just be like, who cares? Because you don't post enough. And a lot of times it's it's really, I know people that I have on my page I've never seen a post from, ever. And that is because they don't post enough for them to be frequent, for them to constantly pop up, for me to even get a glimpse of what, I know people I have to literally go to their page to even say what they said today. I mean, because they don't I mean, post. Well, because they don't post, but also you got to be following them. True. Too. And so you don't know if people was like, like, follow. So that way they always see what you're posting. But you don't post enough, people don't always want to see it. Got to really post a lot more. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a, well, of course, I'm going to start. But, I mean, you know. I mean, that's why I'm kind of like, you got to cut them a little slack. Well, like, yeah, the, 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 out of the thousand people you probably got on your friends, there's probably about, mm, probably about a hundred that actually, like, pay attention to what you're doing. And I had to learn that, too, because even when I deleted a hell of people, there were still people on there that I never, I just was like, nobody ever, all these people, I never seen them like anything on my page. Why are they here? I just went on a mad cleaning, sp I had never saw plenty names. Like, I don't even know who you are. I've never seen you cross up my page. Like, or people I went to high school with. And I'm like, you don't communicate with me. We don't talk. There's no need for us to be on any social. Like, if you want to see some shit, you can like my like page. or something. Somebody will share some shit with you. But in reality, I need people that can support. And that will actually share and watch my shit. I don't need people to see my shit and be like, oh, that girl doing that. Bye, bye. I got family that do that. But I see y'all. Ha! <laughs> Don't trick. When you see me, it's all, it's, it's all love. Because when I hit 25, I realized that it was either now or never. Either I was going to do this shit now or I was never going to do it. It's either I'm going to be rich now or I'm never going to be rich. And I personally, I, I mean, I already know once I got the funds, the options for me is unlimited because that creativity runs through me. It's no longer, it's, I, I no longer think like a worker. I no longer think it's okay for me to get up and punch a clock every day. I don't 
feel like I should have to do that. I don't feel like that's me. I don't feel like that's my lifestyle. I don't feel like I'm supposed to work a nine to five. Period. That's why I don't care to go to school. That's why I don't care to get nobody's. I don't care to do none of that shit. Nope. I, mean, I, I used really, to think about it. I mean, I you used really to. can learn on the fly. I mean, no. Don't I mean, get me you wrong. Can learn on the fly. To be a doctor, you can. Well, to, I mean, like, well, we know that. Well, I have to make that clear for my viewers because yeah, they don't. They need to yeah. clarify that. Yeah, we know I'm not that. saying that if you're going to school and your dream to take care of people, you you need school. Man, of man. Because I'm like, if that's but your for dream, entrepreneurship stuff like that, you don't need a degree. Of course not. I mean, that's just kind of that's kind of on the fly thinking anyway. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, I just want people to know, like, okay, I feel you. If that's what you chose to do, it's the goal. I, I got to say this clear, too. It is a benefit. You'll learn things that people don't know ahead of time. Because that's what I did. I went to school. I got my degree. I know shit that she don't know. It's beneficial. But that's why you connect with somebody that know things that you know, that you don't know. She know a lot of things I don't know. I know a lot of things she don't know. So it works out. We balance each other. And that's what we're here to do. It's a friendship. we family. And we just work together and we bounce off each other. So that's just, you got to find a partner that you just gel with. We like yin and yang. We flow. We just flow together. It's weird. People think it's weird. But it works. It's random. Because you never would be like, y'all too? Because we two different people. I mean, not anymore. What? You well, can't we, really say that now. Well, yeah. You I mean, have said that five five years into our friendship. That is true. That is yes. True. You can't say that now. Yeah. At yeah. All. We like yin yin yang. We, I mean, we, honestly, we, we're no longer opposites. We yeah. are opposites as far as how we feel about certain things. Because, again, yeah. I'm extra. We done I'm going to always be yeah, extra. Yeah, we done grew. And to, she's not extra. So that's how yeah. it's always going to be. I be no extra. matter, but see, I can be extra. Though. So that is why I say not so we much can't, anymore. Can't, that is why I say. I, 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 for no reason, like, I, I say we're um, no longer yin and yang like, because she was a person that didn't go out and talk to folks. Side, she would just be bar. walking through people and just be like, "I'm Aisha," and nobody knows me because she would never talk to anybody. But I've learned that I can't do that. So, well, she learned that within our second year of being friends because she realized she was friends with the person that was going to talk to everybody. So, whether or not you talk to them, you were still going to be forced to be around people that you had to talk to all the time, whether or not you wanted to or you didn't want to. I was a good, I was a good wing person anyway, though. Like, I would be with niggas and be like, "Hey, bitch, what up, girl? What up, girl? Hey, hey, my guy over here." Like, I was always a good wing. So woman, it just so. worked out. But side note, I was really in the store with my mom. I'm looking in there. Oh, I was really in the store with my mom. <laughs> and we made up a song about, because she was like, she kept finding money today. Like, she found, like, little change just everywhere. She kept, like, picking it up and like, oh, I got some more change. I got some more change. She been telling me all that. And it really didn't register until we walked into the liquor store and a quarter was just sitting on the ground. I was like, you really finding change all day. I was like, that's okay. I was like, because... The Kickstarter, that just means that money is coming. It's coming and it's coming. And we just got to stick with that. And I know sometimes she get discouraged because she's been working so hard on this product. And it's like, damn, like, when is it going to happen, God? Like, when is it going to happen? And I know me. Like, I be like, bitch, this need to happen. Like, when? What time? How? When? Where? Like, and I just want it to happen. And it's just like, I know without the hard work. It's not. And so that's why I've been every day. What I got to do. What I got to do. I'm staying up to 5 o'clock in the morning to get it done. Because I have it. And I'll be like, oh God, win, 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 win. And he like, well bitch, show me. And I know with what we doing, we got to stay consistent. And that's why I keep saying that. I'll get down, but bitch, I ain't stopping. I'm going to get down. It ain't going to work. These people on Facebook, they might not support it. They might not like it. But we got to worry about that. working. I don't worry about anything anymore. I know she don't. But <laughs> I always I, I, I do. I do. don't. Like, Y'all don't do. understand I my do. carefree lifestyle right now. I do. My I mom do. had to ask me the other day. She all right was like, have you been um smoking a lot of weed? <laughs> I'm like, what? 
Like you never finna be like, you never finna be like, yeah, my ass and like in high. Like no, like I was like, no, nah, girl. Um, why you say that? But she was like, cause you know you just be a little loopy and stuff. I'd be like, why? Because I'm not all stressed out for an answer like you would be. I'm not gonna stress myself out when I don't need to be. Sometimes it's just how shit play out. I know in the end. God got me. So regardless, of, regardless if I can control if it's gonna happen today or tomorrow, it's gonna eventually get fixed and it's gonna eventually and work that, itself and that, out. And that's that's why I'm like, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I ain't worried. I was like, we finna. I put that like page up there. I was like, look, I'm like, I'm finna invite everybody on this shit. That's I said I can guarantee at least twenty people before the day is over. And we hit eight. We hit I think seventy in one fucking day. Yes. I was never worried. I was like, you when, know what? When when I was like, she she said, okay, I invited everybody. Yes, yeah, you gonna invite everybody? I was like, you know, people on Facebook. People I was like, girl, they gonna like you. Was it. like, right? You was like, you, you was like, just do it. Of course, I'm gonna do it because why not? What I got to lose? So then I'm like, I got family. I have a ton of family. We went from like forty it. people to seventy within a couple was, of minutes. It was thirty to. No, it literally was like 40. When I called you and you did it, it was like 40. It was like, no, was it 30? It was 30. It was 30. It was 30. And I called you and went up 70, like real quick. It was still people well, from I was, in. I was waiting on Sa. Sa, I was waiting on Sa to come out. And I'm just like, invite. Bitch, that shit is manual. Like, you literally got to go in there and invite every single friend. But and the only thing I didn't like about it is that if you send someone an invite, you couldn't unsend it. So it was like it was already out there. Yeah, yeah. And they had to see it. Yeah. And to me, I like the fact that Facebook makes people see your page because they don't have a, they have an option of agreeing and going to go like it. But they still got to see that you sent them something and they still got to read what you sent them the to see if they like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's why I feel like... Yo, like, ain't, ain't no, I don't wait, listen, I might not be anywhere where I want to be today. I think after my birthday, I really stopped being depressed about shit, really. And I, I don't know how else to describe that to people. I just feel like we spend so much time worrying about shit that we do not need to worry about. That shit in the end is going to work itself out, girl. Pick yourself up, get yourself together, get cute, do whatever you need to do to feel good. For real, for real. You got to. You got to do whatever you need to do to feel good. For real. Yeah. Because people be sitting here playing like, oh, I feel Kina could have simply just, just by getting up and Working putting some out. makeup on. Not even that, girl. Just as that little bit as a, it would because she didn't do that. She said, yeah, I put she on a high ass outfit. Dress, it was yeah. like ugly. Go to work. Yeah. You still got to feel beautiful even yeah. when you don't. I guess it kind of helps me too because I'm in a relationship and I have somebody. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. But uh, <laughs> sorry, girl. But uh, <laughs> yeah. But I think it kind of helps me too because I also like this, just doing this and being able to work with myself even when this shit may be so ugly. I don't care what nobody else thinks about it. I personally don't because I think it looks nice. And when I retwist it, it look even nicer. I don't really care because. There's yeah. nothing I can do about it. I can't be skinny tomorrow. I can't be hair long tomorrow. Like, you have to love yourself for where you're at. Once you can accept where you're at, once you can accept where you're at, you have to accept where you're at and why you got there. You can't be like, mm, I done did this, this, and that, but shit, that, it wasn't my fault. You really think you're going to get some growth out of life? Placing blame? on someone else and not acknowledging even if it wasn't entirely your fault what you did leading up to the fact that that shit blew up in your face you got to accept your point in every attribute of your story no matter if somebody came in stole your rent money took took two tires took all your TVs out bust your windows out and what did you do leading up to that how was your life? How was your brain? How was your mind? What was going on in your mind? There's Were you constantly, constantly mind. worrying? Were you constantly, constantly not believing? Were you pre-thinking that somebody was going to rob you and somebody, guess what? Robbed you? Like, baby, you got to think positive all the time. Y'all think I like getting up and going to my job? No. Y'all think I like kissing white people, rich white people asses every day? No. <laughs> the fuck? Hell no. Bitch, I'm rich. Like, that's how I feel when I go on there. Bitch, I'm rich. 
I'm rich, ho. I'm not poor. I am not the slave girl from 1950s, ho. I am rich just like you. And I am just as important as you. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> let's, get it, let's get it all the way together for y'all. But I just feel if you carry yourself like that, then that's what will happen for you. I, I have no doubt in my mind that my success is coming. I love the people that do doubt it because then when my success comes, it just comes even sweeter. Yeah. Because I know who was really for me and I know who really wasn't. Yeah. I got mad family that ain't like shit, that ain't watch shit. But guess what? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Because I've been soloing it up all my life. I really have. And so for y'all to not really be, mm, y'all going to be the ones calling me up to get y'all somewhere with a star and with a celebrity, baby. You're, I'm going to be the contact. I don't, I'm going to be the favorite, bitch, not the other way around. And I feel like if you address everyone and everything that you do just like that, your success will come. And I, I'm always I'm humble. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I'm never just out here like, fuck you, and I'm just going to be rude because I'm that bitch. Like, no, I'm humble all the way around. I'm going to act like a slave say, girl today, but y'all know, bitch, I'm rich. My, um, <laughs> Fuck my, out of here. My dad was telling me, he was like, yeah, you know, nine years ago, Trump said, I will be the president and I will be the richest man on earth. He's the president. He manifests. It's nothing but he manifesting. Just, he's just waiting to be the richest man on earth. Y'all, it's easy. Anyone can do what he did. Anyone, anyone can do exactly what Trump did. And all he did was manifest a dream of his into reality. And we helped him and, do it. And, and with and, the uh, law of attraction, we helped him manifest and, that dream. And put the work in to do it. We helped you gotta him. You got to put the work in. We helped him. Because whether people love you or hate you, you ever realize why the people that are most hated are the most successful? Because they got thousands of people that love them. Then they got thousands of people that hate, hate them. them. But both of it is so yeah, powerful. Them hate them. Yeah. They win it. Either way, that's how life well, is. I mean, and that's what everybody said. Just like Carly B. She was like, I put my videos up and people got the hating. So I, I kept doing that's that. That's how I feel, bitch. Let's keep recording. I, I kept fuck. doing it. They don't gotta like this shit. They don't gotta like none of this I shit. I kept doing that shit because it's lucky. Like, why not? Yeah. I don't give a fuck if y'all like a video. I don't care. I'm not gonna change shit. I'm me. I don't care about none of that. Y'all can either watch it or you don't. If what I say is too harsh for you, go on to the next video. Boo, the same for you. For the people that's going to rock with me, they're going to rock with me whether or not I'm doing this or whether or not I'm doing that. Yeah. Period. Because yeah, this girl got on there and was talking about, so I'm going to take your nigga and got 2,000 followers off taking somebody's niggas. So, I mean, in reality, you can really say whatever, whatever you, you want. want. <laughs> Do whatever you want. But, you know, my dad was like, yo, you know... You know, you, you, um, you know, you gotta watch your cussing, you know, you gotta watch what you say because, you know, you want to do business and, you know, people gonna see these videos and they're not gonna want to work with you. I was Why like, not? well, I was like, well, dad, you know, I'm, uh, Why not? I'm working for myself. Like, well, you know, it just depends, you know, just, I was like, yeah, okay, you might be right, but I gotta do me. I mean, and I really, was like, why not? And I, and, I told, and I told him just like, I was like, I gotta do me. And I was like, Either people gonna love it or they not. Like I, that's oh, all I said. Pretty we just much. gonna do us. I said, pretty and much. that's just what it is. We gonna be us. I can't. I can't be nothing more. So if we feel like twerking today, we gonna twerk. If I feel like saying ten cuss words today, that's what I'm gonna do. Because at the and end that's of the day, why in the beginning I was like, oh, I'm working on my cussing. But it's like if it come out, it come out. And that's just what it is. I mean, because in reality, we're not naked. One. So no one would ever refuse work Unless to two girls. To naked. She tried it. Nobody. <laughs> then I'll let y'all see a little Ooh, bit. She, okay, she's trying to find a man on here. Okay. 1-800-CALL-AISHA now. Like, hey, that's the number, <laughs> bitch. 1-800-CALL-AISHA now. Like, stop playing. I think that's anyway. too many numbers, though. Probably not. We all looked that up. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's not like we on here not talking about some real ass shit. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. We ain't doing Bad Girls Club reality TV here. We're not we fighting. We did try out, though. It ain't work out. But I'm not, I'm saying, though, we're not fighting. We're nah. not doing ratchet ass TV like that. Nah. So, at the end of the day, we're why just having fun. Why wouldn't people want to work with us? We, we have strong fun. opinions. We just and I feel like that, to me, markets us even more, bitch, because our opinions are so strong yeah. about everything. Yeah. You give me something to talk about, girl, I'll talk to we'll you about that about shit all day. 
We can talk all girl, give me some wine, we can really talk. <laughs> Bitch. And don't cheers, spark no guys. Weed. This is where the cheers don't, at. No spark for my people that smoke and don't drink. Don't spark no weed, because Jasmine will talk all motherfuckers. Not if you want me to talk. <laughs> well, oh. we don't want to get on my wine. We don't want to get on my weed episode. Girl. We don't want to smoke weed. No. Mm. I'll advise, I'll just go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Night night time. Mm -hmm. But that one time I did very good on weed. Well, edibles. Edibles. But and that's because it's more of an up kind of high anyway. And then but when we got high that one day when we went to the basketball game, bitch. We was turned. I don't know what we, we had. I don't even remember that day. Exactly. Bitch, we was drinking and we was high. We was in the second row. Like, you know, it's the floor seats and then it's a little bit of space and then it's the next seats. We were in those seats across from the our Milwaukee bench. We were so As high. Can see, I'm already on to my second glass. <laughs> we ain't got no more of that other stuff. No, nah, ain't nothing there. Didn't I bring two ones? Or just you one? took you took the other one. I didn't. Yeah, because we came back. We came back. Yeah, I never drank. That no, thing. we didn't pour it out. You pour you um you poured it. You gave it to What's name, cousin, and all of that type of stuff. Oh, okay, because I'm like, I think I poured that shit out. On the bright side, it did not get the carpet. This the shit she do. Spill shit. I mean, it didn't get the carpet. The yeah. carpet's white, by the way, and it didn't get the carpet. So mm -hmm. we're going to not complain. Yeah, but it got the walls. Mm -hmm. Same the walls. So. Oh, yeah, give me.